In this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install fonts on Canva. For more tutorials, make sure you subscribe and let's get right into it. So in this video, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you in the first part of the video how you can download free fonts. And in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can upload them and use them on Canva. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is come over to dafonts.com. And dafont.com is a free site where you can get hundreds or if not thousands of free fonts. To, so you've got a lot to choose from on here. And for this example here, I'll just go ahead and download this one right at the top. And as you can see, it's downloaded right down at the bottom. And then what I tend to do usually is go ahead and make this screen a little bit smaller, drag it onto my desktop, right click and just click on extract here. And then once you've extracted it, what you need to do is go over to Canva and then come down to Brand Kit. So make sure you're on the home page of Canva and then click on Brand Kit right here. And you can only do this with the pro version of Canva guys, so make sure you are on the pro version I do not think that this uh, feature is available on the free version so if you're on Canva Pro all you need to do is simply click on upload a font once you're on the brand kit section come over to wherever you have extracted your files and just simply double click on the file you want to go ahead and upload and then what you will get presented with is this pop-up here so please confirm the following by uploading your custom font, I acknowledge that I own uh, Love Arts or have the right to use it for my intended purposes. And then all you need to go ahead and do from here guys is simply click on yes upload away. And what that will do is it will upload your files so it'll take a couple of seconds here. And once it's uploaded you should see it down here on the right. So yeah as you can see the Love Arts font is right now down there so you can go ahead and delete it if you want to in the future. But now this font is ready to use on your thumbnails or any kind of graphics you want to create on Canva. So it's just that simple guys, if this video did help you out, please don't leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.